Okay, today we're gonna to talk about uh, automating your Coolaroo uh, shades with a power drill. I'm gonna use an 18 volt Milwaukee, but uh, pretty much probably any 12 volt or 18 volt will work fine. So I've got a Coolaroo here, six foot wide. I've got an eight foot wide there, I've got, and then two more six foot wides. And kind of long story short, um, you can see them here. I actually, tried to price out getting like a super expensive powered ones and it's gonna be eight or nine grand which actually wasn't the issue the problem was that like they wanted to rail on the side of this post which would have shut off access to you know my, my bathroom so if the shade was down that wouldn't have worked very well um so anyways um i actually have a coolaroo up there and i spent maybe 200 bucks for these four coolaroos maybe a little bit more super easy mounted them probably 10 minutes a pop um as you're probably all aware they have this kind of uh turning mechanism um and i don't know maybe because i have low blood pressure i don't know but by the time i've cranked all four of these down the, the blood flows out of my uh, arms and shoulders and so uh i kind of looked at this and i was like man if i could just get a power drill to go but i couldn't find the attachment um i tried to buy like a you know a, a hook screw and then figure out how to get it in there and and i looked at this and i basically was like well i mean i should be able to get a you know drill over this thing uh with the clutch but i i first removed this which i'm going to show you in a moment which was pretty easy to do but then I had this like wobble effect, which I'll show you in the video, which was fine actually, because if you had two hands and you held this one, even with the wobble, it was pretty controllable. So this with a little hacksaw was uh, no problem, but uh, I don't know, I, I kind of wanted the one hand approach. So what I ultimately ended up doing, um, and I sacrificed one of my Kularu wands here, uh, was to kind of break this off at the, at the pin which seems really easy, but uh, that actually was quite difficult. So we'll go ahead and document that, but just kind of showing you the setup here. Um, and I'm, I'm really happy with it. I mean, these things for the price and for how they work are awesome. I mean, I, you know, they, they tether on with these little bungee things. I, I put a, another one up here because I have multi-height because in case I'm watching TV, I, I want it at that height. But if I'm, you know, actually sitting in here and we've got some furniture coming soon, I'll put it at that height, but really, uh, really can't complain about the Coolaroo stuff. So, all right, let's get started with the uh, uh, modification of this uh, Coolaroo rod. So I got the old trusty hacksaw off, and I figured I could just get this black plastic handle off. It was pretty easy. You could just sort of uh, hacksaw it around pretty softly. You have to try a few times to find where the, the sweet spot is, but uh, you'll, you'll end up breaking in a couple of spots, and then it'll just actually slide off pretty nicely. Um, I used some wire cutters to get this last little part that's got some sort of ribbing on it. And then uh, there you go. It's uh, ready to go. So here you can see that it works pretty well, but there's a little bit of a speed wobble. Uh, it's better with the second hand, which I didn't have because I was filming, but I just really wanted to be able to do this one hand and the speed wobble really bothered me. So uh, I went to uh, improve this system a little bit more. So I really wanted to get this pin out, so I thought I could just drill it out, and it turned out that that was a complete waste of time. So uh, disregard the drill here, but what I ended up doing was ruining a couple screwdrivers, but I was able to kind of pry it with a bunch of different screwdrivers and wrenches and needle nose pliers and sort of just break this thing apart. Um, I did ruin two, uh, two bits, but you could see it just sort of started to break it down. Uh, the, the wire cutters worked really well, again, once you had softened it up kind of bend it a little bit. And over time, it just started to break free. And then I was able to pull that pin out. And then basically it just sort of all fell apart. And now I had this perfect piece that was ready to go. Okay, so my earlier video, I had the 90 degree bends and it kind of created a wobble effect. So I mutilated, got that pin out. And now we've got a really easy. <laughs> Slow down a little bit at the end so you don't unwind this thing too much, but there you go. And then going up. Much smoother now, one handed operation. There 
you go, power cooler room.